What's up, Cancer? It's Deb with Goddess of the Moon Tarot. I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that this reading finds you safe. All right, shout out to my Soul Tribe members that are Cancer in the building. I appreciate the love and support, you guys. I see you showing out, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with your reading. If you guys are new here and you've been resonating, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and also hit the post notification bell before you leave, okay? Guess what, guys? I am still open for personals, so if you would like to book a personal reading, go ahead and check out the information in the description box. There is instructions there, so go ahead and follow that, and you get your personal reading, okay? All right. What's, what's going on, Cancer? All right. I believe this is Croach Shield or Shell Calling. Okay. Wake up. Your busy lifestyle is blocking out the voice of spirit. Enjoy the sound of silence and listen to your inner wisdom. Take steps to embrace your life's purpose. Trust your intuition and follow your dreams. Your true calling is your priority. Don't divert. Okay. So busy lifestyle could be blocking out, blocking out what you're supposed to be doing right now, Cancer. I don't know. I know us Cancers, we stay busy. Okay. That's why we the chariot card. <laughs> but let's see. What's going on, Cancer? Also, if you are new here, I do have an Instagram and the link is in the description box. So go ahead and check that out. Once you follow me, you will have access to basically all of my first looks, which are a snippet of the videos before they actually post on YouTube. So you'll have a, you know, a sneak peek. So definitely check that out. And then also updates go there. So I would love for you guys to follow me. All right, what's going on, Cancer? Five of Wands. Yeah. So it's kind of like there's people that are wanting to believe that what they have going on is more important than what you have going on, Cancer. Let's get some more. That's why you're being called. You got the calling just so that you're aware and so that you know, like, what you have going on is legit and you're supposed to be doing it regardless of the fact that maybe there's someone out there that might be jealous or wishing that they had the same thing that you had going on okay so we start off right now cancer with the three of discs the queen of cups the world card the lover's card the emperor card four of cups and the temperance card all right so with the three of this i feel like you right now you're having you're being given an opportunity to collaborate with others but there's also others that want to collaborate with you, but they're only doing it because they see you as competition, Cancer. I feel like they feel like they can do that because you're a very loving and kind, compassionate person, okay? The Queen of Cups is someone who gives, okay? This is someone who is very loving. They pour out their, their emotions and they put whatever it is that they have within, within them out okay so the, I feel like that's what type of person you are but right now because you're being called the universe the with the world card is basically sending you down a particular path and you are protected down that path you're basically being guided you're seeing a lot of synchronicities you're seeing a lot of signs that are telling you which way you should go it's interesting because we got this right in the middle of the reading the lover's card okay so I feel like cancer there is a love that's coming in for you I feel like you have a partnership that's coming in for you and this is something that is divinely guided for you because it's right after the world 
this person is going to be an emperor. So they are very responsible. They are probably a business owner. If they're not a business owner, they're someone who is very successful. Someone, they could be a father. Uh, again, for my male watchers, they could be a mother. But this person, you can rely on them. They make decisions and choices and they're not afraid to make what we would call uh, authority cuts authority they stand in authority with the four of cups i feel like whatever this past situation was it possibly was a third party situation but you're not interested in that it's very boring boring to you you're basically just rejecting that energy because you would much rather stay balanced with the temperance card and Sagittarius energy. You would rather stay balanced and stay focused. I feel like that third party situation probably angered you a little bit, Cancer, but I feel like you're moving away from that now. And I feel like because you're not upset, that's why people feel like you're in some type of competition for them. Yeah, they feel left out in the cold. Five, five, okay? Because you're the high priestess. <laughs> What's the three of this? Look at that. Victory. There's going to be victory, reward. You're going to be appreciated with this next cycle when it comes to collaborations with others, okay? All right, so we got the star card in reverse, the prince of this, the two of this, and the seven of swords reverse. Oh, I've been loving the energy lately with the seven of swords reverse. Okay, so the star card reverse. This is another reason why when you were in the past, you were trying to work with people, you were trying to collab with people, it was making your path very difficult because the people that you were working with did not see themselves as a star they did not see themselves as going down their path these people were confused they basically expected to be able to continue to use your energy they expected to be able to con continue to cultivate what it was that you were doing for themselves maybe these people were taking ideas from you cancer to a disc they were at the bottom of the barrel this is a energy of lack this is an energy of juggling this is an energy of gambling so these people were always feeling like they needed to gamble to come up they always felt like they needed to because this is the three of discs right here that's how they collaborated they felt like it was easier to do that but now that you have turned your back from that energy there's no longer a energy of sneakiness and betrayal because you show self-love for yourself cancer with the queen of cups that's how you got this victory that's how you got this victory empress that's what i'm saying you are the mate you got your partner coming in for you cancer okay what's this queen of cups Okay, so nine of cups came in. All right. And then the princess of cups reverse. What I'm loving about this is like, this is like, to me, a congratulations. Because at one time, you were in this energy that you kept giving your love out. You kept giving of yourself to the point where it drained you so much. So for you to basically grow to the next level and become the queen of cups that is the wish that you always have desired to be able to stand firm in your own truth and not you know basically continue to keep being dragged out or being drained out possibly by people that you thought that were your family because to me this is like the ten of cups right here okay What's that? Yeah, nine of discs. You're single and dependent. You don't have to depend on others for anything anymore. You're 
resting in a way you put things to rest you will no longer let that happen and with the high priestess energy your intuition is on point right now so you know when to deal with certain people and how to deal with them what's the world card empress again okay 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 come through come through empress three times three is significant to you we have the prince of cups and the princess of discs mm, mm, mm. so the the universe okay the world has basically took this to another cycle because you have completely passed congratulations you have passed the last cycle but what i'm feeling is now there is some energies that want to play on your heartstrings in a way that's the best way that i could describe it they want you to feel some type of pity for them they want to ask possibly for forgiveness for being very codependent or needing your energy but i also feel like this is a way for them to try to manipulate their their way back into your life it could be a past love situation maybe this person sees that you have a new love coming in because i feel a new love in this this energy but i also feel that there might be a past lover that is trying to manipulate you trying to bring back emotions to make you feel some type of way because you're the empress and you're on your way to meeting your emperor what's the lover's card hi priestess your intuition has already told you that you might have gemini in your chart this is going to be a happy situation like i said a happy home when you come into contact with your partner this is going to be a happy home, okay? So this foundation is going to be built cor correctly and it's going to withstand time. I feel like your partner is just as serious as you are about whatever it is that they start and whatever it is that they build. This person also is tapped in with their intuition and they have love for the divine in themselves and they're willing to cut out whatever they had to cut out this person is very strong i feel a uh, very alpha masculine energy okay what is the t the emperor hermit so they might be a virgo let's see six of wands reverse wow the hangman in reverse and the king of wands in reverse all right so the reason why this emperor is so i feel like whoever this is and the reason why i said that they're alpha is because they're very disciplined okay like i said they might be a virgo but this person in the past they learned harsh lessons with the six of wands in reverse so they no longer are like an egotistic type person maybe they were at one time maybe this person dealt with like a very um toxic type level of ego because we are supposed to have ego but if you get too much of anything it could be be bad so this person at one time might have had a very bad ego but they broke it down and they woken up to themselves they have basically enlightened themselves so they're no longer stuck in that energy and also this person might have been a player or a person that you know slept around maybe this person has really good sex okay with the king of wands reverse they no longer want to you know give their energy out to people like that in that that way anymore they're holding back and also you are too like I said, this could be a Virgo. If not, this person is really a very wise person. They have studied themselves. They have done a lot of research. Yeah, the Prince of Swords. It, they're a studious person. They're willing to learn new things. The Moon card. This person holds a lot of secrets. And I feel like they're willing to open up, but to the right person. What's the Four of Cups? The ace of this yeah so 
What I feel like is basically the divine is trying to bring this connection together so that, excuse me, so that you guys can be granted the ace of this and be able to have this finances in abundance coming into you. But as long as you continue to be in the energy of willingness to learn, that is something that can happen for you. And also keeping your intuition on fleek and keeping your connection to the divine, okay? And this is two aces, right? Ace of this, and then we had the ace of cups come out right there. So this is definitely something that the divine wants for you. Let's see, what's the temperance card? Keeping yourself self-control. And I feel like as long as you stay controlled in yourself, you know, stay in a high vibration, you'll be fine. Yeah. Ending to anything that might cause you to feel um, a upset energy. I feel like when you do get with this person, you're basically going to go through this energy of like testing each other kind of like, but I feel like it's going to be fine. Um, just make sure you don't bring any old energies back into something that's going to be new for you because if that does happen, it could end badly, okay? Because I feel like, like I said, I had to describe who this emperor was in the past. They're getting over that, but you guys don't want to trigger each other, so you want to make sure that you're healed, okay? And over everything from the past. Let's get you a gym. It's cancer. Okay, so we got Opio, number 31. We are in a time of great idealism, and others may not fully understand our actions or the fact that we are not least interested in material things. We act for the communal and collective good, without secondary motives and with honest intentions. We don't mind if we are considered extravagant, extravagant as we are in harmony with ourselves and happy. So this gem inspires the joy of living and stimulates the desire for evolution. It is indicated for those who are fe fearful in times of change and is useful in moments of depression and to strengthen the will. Exactly. So just know, you know what I'm saying, that this new beginning that you're going to have, it, it's going to help the collective as long as you guys can remain balanced. Okay. Cause we had the temperance card here. So that's going to be very important for both you and your partner to remain balanced so that you can continue doing the work that you have been destined to do here. Okay. All right. So that is what I got for you, cancer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe share hit the post notification bell guys and i will talk to you later deuces